Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So integrate this. So uh, press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so w when you're trying to um, when you're trying to integrate something complicated, try to keep an eye out on something being the derivative of another thing. So for example, if uh, if you look at this here, when you differentiate this, it will give you um, one over one plus uh, x squared. And then this here, in a way, well. The point I'm trying to make is when you're when you're trying to integrate something that's complicated, try to keep an eye an eye out on something being the derivative of another thing. Well, this thing here, in a way, in a way, it is the derivative of uh, of this thing here. So make this to be well, let this to be u, and then when you differentiate it, it will give you something of, of this form here. Well. When you uh, when you when you integrate when you try and integrate something complicated, try to keep an eye out on something being the derivative of another thing within that function. So so for example, in this case here, if you let um, if you let tan to be if you let u to be this thing here, then uh, then when you differentiate this, it will give you this thing here. So uh, so notice that later this thing will cancel out with, with this thing here. Well, let u equals this thing, then du equals this thing, and then dx equals this thing here. So now, following our normal routine, we would put this, we would put this into into the uh, into the dx, and we would put the u into here. Okay, then then this thing here will become this. Okay, and then these two will cancel out. The the point I'm trying to make here is that when you're trying to integrate something complicated, try to keep an eye out on something being a derivative of another thing. Try to keep try to notice that when you when you make when you differentiate this, in a way it will give you this thing here. In a way. Okay? So anyway, we are at this stage here. These two will cancel out, giving you giving you this. Now integrate this, it will give you uh, uh, the natural log of the absolute value of u. So now earlier we said u let u equals uh, let u equals inverse tan of x. So overall the answer would be this. Okay.